I'm Dan. I'm Mark. We are the Bearded Brothers Beard Reviews. This is our very first numero uno beard review. We are so excited to start talking to you guys and getting to know you guys better. Um, if you're in, looking at this right now, please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, follow us on Instagram. Um, just give you a little bit of background about us. Um, you know, I've been in the beard game for probably about a year. Um, this is my personal collection. Um, this is stuff that I've spent all the money myself. Nothing of it has been given to me. Um, I've probably given away probably closest amount to, to friends and family. Um, just I can't use it all, obviously. Um, Mark, you got a nice collection too, right? Yeah, yeah. I've got uh, 30, 35 of them at home now. So, but several of them are ones that Dan's given me. So, you know, I get lucky with that every now and then. So, uh, yeah, we've been uh, trying out a lot of these. So, the products that we found that we like, um, we're totally different. You know, um, I like the, the leather, the bourbon, the musky, kind of a heavier scent. Mark likes something a little bit different. Yeah, I like the foodie scents and uh, beach scents and stuff like that. So, coconuts and stuff. So. Awesome. <laughs> so, so as we go through these reviews, you're going to find, you know, there are going to be some scents that he loves. I may not like quite as much. We do have a, a combo that we kind of mix over in the middle. We both love vanilla, mm -hmm. you know, things like that. But, yeah. um, you know, he may really love it. I may really love it. But that's what makes this unique. And I think that's what's going to be exciting about this channel is that you're getting two perspectives um, on the same product. Absolutely. All right. Thank you, guys. Stay tuned. Right. Thanks. that we're going to be doing is Heroes and Legends. Great company. Great company. Yeah. Uh, based out of northern Mississippi. Um, this was created by Jeremy and his wife Mindy. Um, Jeremy started coming up with some ideas for some products because he had some severe itch. Um, beard drift from beard itch, stuff like that. But I think it was, may have come up to some eczema, some dry skin. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, so he and his wife started working out some oils and some antifungal uh, properties to really help his own uh, comfort and skin. And they came up with some great products. Uh, his wife, uh, Mindy, is a microbiologist and a chemist. So <laughs> very smart people running this company. Right. Uh, yeah. Really impressed with that. And doing some research on them as well. One thing that I learned is that um, they've actually put some of these products out with some professional sporting teams. Um, oh, because nice. they have some antifungal uh, properties that help against dock itch and ringworms, things like that. So yeah, well, really good stuff here. Huh. Um, cool. All right, so um, with the oils, the prices on these are um, on oil, one ounce oil is $16.99. Um, you're going to have a, a light to medium hold on these. Um, the bombs, uh, two ounces, $12.99, which is a really good deal. Um, this is. Really nice consistency. It's really nice consistency. And um, you get a combo of them for $24.99. So that's, that's a pretty good deal. Um, so yeah, we've been trying them for a while now. And um, I really I really like the Villain Black. Um, it, it's, it's a great leather scent. Um, the oil makes my beard feel really nice, and uh, the the beard uh, balm works really well with it too. So I really enjoyed those. Um, yeah, the Villain Black is actually a newer scent from their original, the Villain, which was oh, yeah. leather and vanilla, which is a great combination anyway. Yeah. Um, the new Black, the Villain Black, has oud uh, attached to that, so. I like the trifecta of great scents. <laughs> Vanilla, leather, and oud. Fantastic scent. Love it, love it, love it. This is probably my favorite scent of the three that we're going to talk about today. Absolutely yeah. love this. We couldn't get enough of it. That's my favorite, too. Yeah, it's got kind of a long scent. Um, seems to last about six hours. Mm-hmm. Yeah? Yeah. 
Yeah. All right. Second one we have, this is another, these are brand new. These first two are brand new to Heroes and Legends. Uh, this came out within the last couple weeks, I believe. Yeah. Um, this is the Patriot. This is blueberry and apple pie. So mm -hmm. you can see it's as American as apple pie. <laughs> um, again, uh, kind of a medium, uh, medium weight. It's got a little bit of a yellow tint to it. Not mm -hmm. a whole lot. Right. The Patriot. Yeah. Right. I personally don't get a whole lot of the blueberry in there. I didn't either. Um, I didn't a either. really nice apple pie. Man, it smells good. It's got you can smell I some of the a little bit. A little bit. One thing I've noticed about some yeah. of these blueberry scents is some of them are more like the candy um, blueberry. Yeah. It's really sweet. You can really right. smell blueberry. And some of them are more like the natural blueberry scent, mm. which is probably a softer scent anyway. Right. Yeah. So. uh yeah, so that's a good one. Okay. And then, uh, the last one we have here, this is Midsummer Night. This came out a little earlier in the summer, beginning of the summer. Um, it is a combination of pale honey ale, sunflower, oak moss, light churches, and a couple other little uh, hidden gems there. Um, you can really smell, I was curious when I said I never smelled uh, sunflower before. Right, me neither. You can smell the sunflower in this, and I think it smells really good. Yeah, it's a very interesting scent. It's a good scent. It does it's have nice. a little bit of the floral scent with the sunflower in there, but it's manly. It's still a masculine scent. Um, focus. A little bit different. Um, again, light to medium hold. Um, one thing we've noticed on all of these is their bombs are really nice. Um, very, very yeah, smooth. Really smooth. Um, yeah. One thing we're going to be doing on our reviews that I've never seen another company do is giving a grit grade. On their bombs just because some of them like as you see these super super creamy emulsifies beautifully um, and then other refining just don't do that very well right. and um, a lot of them are really hard yes I mean, a lot of yep. mine lately have been hard on some and based on the hold that will be will happen a little bit you have a little more beeswax and stuff like that but yeah. some of them are just very gritty very sandy so yeah. um, the grit grade that I give all three of these we say zero being the smoothest, zero grit. Five being the highest grit, very gritty. I'd probably give it a zero. Yeah. There is no grit. Yeah. It Pretty is super easy. nice. Uh, great hold. Again, yeah. scent lasts six hours. All three scents are very unique. Um, Midsummer, like we said, it's got a little bit of the uh, sunflower. I can probably smell the pale ale in there as well. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. it, it's, just a, it's a great summer scent. I really love it. Yeah. Um, highly recommend all three of these recognize the, uh, the, the company in general. Right. Really, right. Sure. really highly quality stuff. Sure. Keep it up. Heroes and Legends. Yeah. Really good stuff. <laughs> Thanks.